Hey guys, in today's video, we're looking at how I edit my raw photos really simply and quickly using great software. So the software I use is Luminar 4. You can get this on Mac and Windows. And what I like about it, it's got some brilliant built-in presets and the AI on this is absolutely brilliant. And you can literally just click one button and your raw photo is complete. You can do more advanced editing techniques. You can change the sky color, you can change the theming. You can have so many more options with this, it's brilliant. It's not free software, it's paid. This is not sponsored. I've had this for over a year now and I use it daily, it's brilliant. I've just got the standard Luminar 4 one license package and this is £54 currently and this just gets you unlimited access to this. You don't have to pay that every year. And they also do a new one which I'm considering getting as well which is Luminar AI and this just gives you even more AI features. This is a separate package which is £79 but you'll see shortly that the AI features built into this and even more on this new version are remarkable. It just takes away so much of having to edit your photos. It does it all automatically for for you and the results are mind-blowing but let's get into it i'm going to show you some examples of some of the photos that i'm going to be editing now all taken on raw from the dji mini 2 so let's jump into it and i'll show you what to do all right guys so i've made a folder on my desktop which is dji mini 2 raw files there's eight files here all dng files so make sure when you're on your actual drone you've selected for photos jpeg and raw now these photos appear really flat but they are much higher quality these are larger files and these are not edited so nothing's been edited for you by dji which gives you all that flexibility for you to edit yourself all right, so let's open up the app now. We're going to click on that plus icon there. We're going to add the raw files to this document. So let's click on that folder there and then select add folder and that will add them all to here. So you can see here, all the photos are now in this left hand side and they're ready to edit. Just enlarge that now. And then these are all the files. And again, you know, they look pretty good, but they could be a lot better and they will be. And I could do this just by one click of a button and make it really fast, literally 10 second edits. But you'll see here in the bottom left hand corner, you've got looks. Now, a lot of editing apps have presets, but these are just brilliant because there's just so many of them and so versatile. So we've got dramatic, we've got street, landscape, portrait, lifestyle, and we've also got an aerial one, which is brilliant for any drone footage. But you can go through all of these and look at which one you like the best. So if we just look at this first one here, we'll look at the essentials, and then these are different ones. So we've got contrast enhancer, we can change the haze, we can have a mood enhancer, and automatically just by clicking that one button, you can get such a great image. I mean, that there now, that's the AI image enhancer. So that's automatically enhancing it for you, what the software believes is gonna be the best for this type of photo. So let's click on Arial and we'll click on Arial AI Enhancer. And look at that, we look at the before and after now. So just clicking in the top there, you can look at the before, this is the standard raw photo, and then the edited photo without having to do any manual adjustments at all. You can if you wish. It's also got a really good slider on it as well. So you can look at the edited image and then the actual before photo and then results are remarkable what i like about this is it's not massively over the top you can go over the top but i think that photo looks brilliant we'll move on to that next one that's a one click edit unbelievable so this photo here is the bottom of the tower and i like you can see all the buildings in the distance and you can see the bits that appear and it gives that vibe of really old rustic vibe about it so let's go and look at what's presets we can look to sort of match that so we've looked at the essentials and what i'm thinking of here is, is a classic black and white one and that looks really nice i like the way that just looks if we go into the color tabs here we can click on sharpen and we can smooth that slider over and that will just make everything look a bit more sharper so that tower looks a bit more detailed and i think for that shot i'll really like that black and white look to it i think it looks really cool old vibe and look really creative again 10 second edit done this shot looks brilliant, straight out of camera. It looks great, you've got the tower, you've got the pier in the foreground. A really nice shot, this is an ND filter on, so you've got some motion blur on the sea. I like the artistic preset, it just makes them blues lighter, it looks a really good like postcard vibe. You can also make them colors pop a lot by using golden hour, this just makes them blues really saturated, but not overly done. That again, look at that from the before and after. I like the before shot, but this just makes them blues really good. Looks like that CPL look, 
look again a one click edit but within here in creative you can change the sky as well so you can mess about with this and some of them are over the top some of them are brilliant it all depends on the actual photo so by clicking on this button here we can change the different skies we can have blues we can have a dramatic sky and then you can actually move the sliders so it fits the picture so again move through all of these and you can fit the best one for this photo i really like the sky it just blends brilliantly so we're going to keep that as it is but what i do like on here also is you can place a fake sun or you can have sun rays coming through as well so you can have a look which looks completely different by having the sun rays coming through so i'm just going to move these slides here now we can change the penetration of it we can change the length of the sun rays and just by moving that and look these are the before and after it looks really good I'm also going to move around the sliders for dramatic. This makes a difference to the picture. It just makes everything stand out a bit more. And then also in mystical as well, by moving that slider about halfway, just look at how dramatic that photo looks now. More ripples are obvious on that sea. The blues are popping more. What a great photo that is looking already. Again, I'm going to do a bit more with this than I did do before, but you can mess about with this as much as you want. And edits are subjective, you know, some people might not like this, some people think this is brilliant. And changing the AI structure as well, this automatically looks at what the best parts of this photo are and improves them without you having to do anything. This can be done in other editing apps, but it takes loads and loads of time. Let's just move that sun ray so it's just out of the shots, just so you can see parts of it coming through and I think overall it looks brilliant we just got the before a really flat looking image and look at that <laughs> unbelievable again a little bit longer that one I would say what about a minute to edit that picture but that looks brilliant really really nice photo before and the after all right let's move on to the next one this one we're going to get a bit more over the top creative with this one so we look at this one now we can see the pm we can see the tower in the background and we're going to select the dreamy filter this makes everything look really soft and dreamy like floating it looks great like you're imagining a great time in blackpool and we're going to look at the different skies again so we've got a dramatic sunset there we could use and then what we can do is we can move the horizon blending tool so it, it blends the sky with the horizon as well so it doesn't just look far too obvious so again we're going to be messing around with this you can be as creative as you wish with these photos. You can be over the top or not, but we're gonna move these sliders around and look at that from a before to a after. A really dramatic look. What about a nighttime shot? So this is a bit hard with nighttime shots, especially because it's only a small sensor on this drone. But I'm gonna do a one-click edit on this. Click on AI Landscape Enhancer. This just selects all the really good parts of the image and it makes them brighter. A one-click image like this. This is the before and this is the after. It just makes everything pop a little bit more. Great, five second edit there, let's move on. So a really nice snowy landscape here. We're gonna look at that sky again and let's change some of that sky. So I do quite like this. This is like a sunset feel to it. And it looks like that sunset in the distance. A really cool looking sky compared to the original sky we had. So messing around with these, you can also add your own as well. If you've got a really good sky photo, you can add this on as well. So you don't have to use the preset sky replacements. But I do like this one. You can also see a bit of a helicopter in the background there as well. So we're gonna go for this one. I'm going to move them sliders again just so it blends the image a bit better. I'm going to move the dramatic side up and then what we'll do, we'll put a sun ray in coming through as well. So I'll move that sun ray now so it's just behind them clouds. And then just by moving the amount and then the penetration amount, we can see some of them sun rays onto the actual landscape as well. And you can move this so you can have it really bright or you can just have it a bit low. I like that look there. So again, looking at the before and after, you can get a, such a different looking image just by messing about with these presets before and after brilliant so we've got another similar one here as well so let's just look now at if you want to just edit it yourself so i'm going to turn that exposure either up or down i'm just going to lower it a little bit the contrast again you can actually push the contrast up to your own taste so it's going to increase that a little bit there the highlights we're just going to lower them highlights will increase them shadows. So already that picture is looking good. It's pretty good there in it from the before and after. And then we'll just go into the AI enhancer. This will help you out a lot because it improves the best parts. We can actually enhance that sky. Then blues pop a lot more and look at that before and after. And it's such a simple way of getting your photos looking brilliant without going into too much depth. You can spend hours on this if you wish, changing all different details. I'm just gonna keep it quite simple for this video. You can have different enhancers but if we look at this now, we're just going to increase that dehaze on the landscape enhancer and it does everything automatically without it looking 
too over the top. So don't have all the sliders completely blown out, but look at that, we'll just increase that brightness of the image as well. What a great shot that is. So these are all the edited photos that I've just done now. It puts them into a folder that you've just edited here, and then we can go through them and look at our edited photos. And that's a really quick way of editing them. You don't have to spend loads of time. You can if you wish. You know, this is personal taste. You can edit them to your own style. And then you just click on export and export them to your photo library. And this will then put them onto your actual hard drive. For me, Mac, it's put it onto my photos album. So I've got them all here. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And that was a really quick way of how to edit your raw photos. I'm going to be doing another one on Lightroom as well. I just find with this software, it's so simple and great to use. And it's definitely worth that money. But thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you very soon and have a great day. Bye-bye.